Hi everybody, I'm Yair from Rain the Dog and I'm welcoming you to our series of exceptions in Selenium and how to overcome them. This is the third lecture in this series and today we will study how to overcome element click intercepted or element is not clickable at point. You probably bumped into it and first we need to understand when and why does it happen. Usually it happens when another element is blocking the way, such as an overlay or let's say that you saved something and you have this pop-up of a save was successful, it takes a few seconds until this pop-up will disappear. Also sometimes another element is overlapping, usually due to a non-responsive website that some element in a certain resolution will overlap our element. And sometimes also some of the elements are still loading due to an asynchronous JavaScript or whatever that is happening in the web page and we need to wait for this element to be clickable. So let me present an example. I will use this um, demo site that we have developed. And let's say that I want to click one of the elements here. If I click the download large file, as you can see, this file is being downloaded. Let's say I will set an overlay timer. This will simulate a special case when a JavaScript is running an asynchronous script and the element is being blocked by an overlay. So let me click on it. Now for three seconds, you see, I couldn't uh, press it. I couldn't download it. Let me increase it to let's say 8,000 milliseconds, which equals eight seconds. And I'll click it again. So you can see that until those eight seconds would pass, now, only now I can click on it. Let's try to see it in an automated test. I will demonstrate it by using Python. So here I have my test, I call it test overlay. And the first thing that I'm going to do, you've probably seen this uh, site before in previous videos. You should check out our video elegant solution for common problems in Python. I will link it in the description section down below. First, I need to wait for this loader to vanish. So you can see here in my code, that the loader uh, was vanished here. I have the assertion. Then I'm scrolling the page down. I'm setting the overlay with the default value of the three seconds. And then I'm trying to locate the one gigabyte file button and I'm trying to click on it. So let's try and run it. Okay, my test was failed and let's look at the exception. We have the element click intercepted exception. And if we'll dive into details, we can see that the message is the element click intercepted. This is the element that I try to click on. And it's saying that it's not clickable at point. Since I'm trying to click on this element and another element is overlapping, in this case, the invisible overlay, it says that the other element would receive the click. And you can see here that we have the idea of the overlay. So I need to do something to overcome it. Let me suggest some solutions. First, we can use Selenium weight. Selenium wait using expected conditions. We can wait until this element would be clickable. We'll try this method to see if it's working. Also, you can use wait for element to vanish that was developed by Rain the Dog. I will also link a video to this specific method that you can study how to implement it in your code. Also, in some cases, maybe you need to click on the intercepting element first. 
In this case, it won't work, but in other cases, it might be a viable solution. Another uh, practice could be use hard-coded weight. Since we'll know how much time the element took uh, to load, we can use hard-coded weight. I never recommend you guys to use hard-coded weights. Uh, those are pitfalls that we might bump into. So I'll leave it, I'll just give you an idea. You can use it, but I do recommend not to use the hard-coded weight. And also, we can click until interactable. This is another solution that I will present to you guys in this video. So let's get started. We'll start by using the Selenium weight until clickable. So before I'll perform the link, I can say that I want to refer to web driver weight. I need to import it by the way. And I will supply the driver. Let's say that I want to have a timeout of maximum 10 seconds. And I will say until yes, I will import the selenium expected conditions. And we can say element be clickable now I need to provide this element I will say by we need also to import this by CSS selector and let's provide the same selector here okay let's run this one You can see here that we got the same error even though we waited for it to be clickable. The problem is that Selenium did recognize the element as clickable since there was an asynchronous script running in the background. So this option might be a good option but in this case I don't recommend to use it because it won't work. So what can we do? As you can see here, and as you saw in previous lectures, you can use the web wait for element to vanish. So I can supply the overlay since I got the overlay. It, it was intercepted. I got the ID overlay. If you can uh, see here, we're getting the overlay from the error. So I can implement wait for element to vanish by ID. So let's try and do it. So let, let's try, I will delete this one. Let's identify overlay element and we'll say driver fi find element by ID. And the ID is overlay. Now I can say that I want to wait for element to vanish, the overlay button. By the way, the wait for element to vanish is five seconds. This is the interval. I can increase it. And let's try to click on it after. Okay, now it was passed. You can see here, this was successful. So this is one implementation that we can uh, take. 
but let's say that we want to make it more interesting. Before we've looked on another solution, we could use the hard-coded weight. I won't deal with that here. We can use click until interactable. What does it mean? Let me show you a method. This method will get the element and will try to click it until it will be successful or until a timeout would pass. Here I set the timeout to be 10 seconds. I'm trying to click on the element. And then if I didn't get the exception, I can return a true value because the click was successful. Otherwise, I'm expecting to get the element not interactable exception or the element click intercepted exception. If I'll do that, I will continue and continue. By the way, I also initialized the counter just to see how many times I needed to wait until it was clickable. So if you want, we can also, before we return the value, we can print the counter. Let's say we've tried Okay. Now let's try to implement it. Uh, since we have, we can delete the overlay element. And instead of just clicking the download button, we can refer to this method, click until interactable. We'll transfer this download button large. We're also getting a Boolean value. So we can have the result. And then we can also assert on it. So you have several benefits of using this method. Result, and we can say, in case it won't work, clicking the download button has failed. So let's run it. So here, it's trying to click, trying to click, trying to click, until in the end it's been successful and it tried three times to click on it. So that's all for today. I do hope that this video was useful to you and if you like it, please give us the thumbs up. Also, if you find our channel useful, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you have any suggestion or you want to share with us your thought and your experience, please write a comment in the comment section down below. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps us to push this content to more people. So your support is appreciated. Until next time, thank you for watching.